What's the best cheap fast food cheeseburger? I don't know. We're built to figure that out though. If you watch the vlog then you know about this or if you've been following on discord or you watch the youtube channel regularly on the streams you already know that i've been planning to do this crazy video of me trying all the fast food burgers in my area i'm keeping it short keeping it sweet keeping it simple it's just the cheap fast food burgers that you can get maybe you're you know you're just out there you don't have a whole lot of money to spend you want a burger you want the cheapest burger so we're gonna figure out which one is the best. I've got like non-burgers here, and I'm gonna give them a nice little ranking score, kinda like keep it as professional as possible. Um, I'm gonna use decimals, you know, I love to actually, you know, try to keep it as accurate as possible. Accuracy is, well, it's a good thing to have, you know? So then not only do I know, but you know which one I think is the best, and then maybe you can decide on your own. It's going to have a few takes, so <laughs> let's just get to it. Alright, first burger that we're going to go in with is going to be, uh, let's, let's keep it good. Let's go Burger King. There's also something I've noticed too with a lot of these burgers. They all kind of like keep this like in a line with things, it's either a white bag or a brown bag. Burger King's a brown bag. So uh, let's start with Burger King. Alright, the Burger King Burger. So, how am I going to judge these? Uh, well, the way I'm going to be isn't just about points and decibels. Uh, the way I'm going to be looking at them, and I guess this is the best way to do it, and this is going to be a nice little thing. I, I bought all these a little bit earlier, so they're all in the same state, but I'm going from, as you can see here, meat to bun ratio, cheese to meat ratio, just kind of keeping it, you know, where's the balance in all of these, you know, what do they got on them. This one's got, uh, again, this is Burger King. It's got pickles, mustard, ketchup, and cheese, and meat. Also, they have a sesame seed bun, which if you've ate it, Burger King, you already know that. Go ahead and give it a really drooly. good burger I really like Burger King already because they have a uh, I'm only gonna try to do one but but Burger King does this char boiling thing it's a thing that Burger King and Hardee's do I actually worked at Hardee's uh, we'll get into that maybe later but good all-around burger um right off the bat I mean they have that char broil so you got that smoky flavor I ended up getting a pickle not a big pickle fan but I'll rate it in there I'm not gonna let that discriminate um, got a little mustard and ketchup in there. Not the biggest fan of mustard either, but again, not going to discriminate. Pretty good burger, pretty sound. And, you know, it's fast food burgers, so don't hate me for it. <laughs> this isn't like your hometown, like, restaurant. So I'm gonna, it's going to kind of speed along further after this. Just getting the explanations in there. Burger King, pretty sound, you know, right off the bat. I'm going to give it, like, you know, none of them are going to hit 10. Doubt one will hit not. You know, uh, and again, I actually like Burger King. I'm not going to be biased, though. Uh, we'll even go on price here. Burger King, I think, uh, might have been the only receipt I didn't keep here. But I do know it was, like, in the dollar region, which is a cool thing, you know, if you really want a cheap burger. I think it was, like, $1.28 at the end of that. So, like, $1.28. The meat and cheese ratio is pretty good. The bun ratio, it's not overwhelming on the bun. The bun's not, it doesn't have a too overpowering flavor. The sesame seeds are nice, even though they're kind of... I'll admit, sesame seeds are kind of flavorless. Somebody's gonna be, you know, out there saying, no, nah, but they kind of are. Um, I'd give it like, you know, like a, a 6.8, you know? Pretty sound. I mean, it's pretty good. I liked it. Maybe I'll like it the best, who knows? Maybe it won't be the best. Next burger. <laughs> All right, so the next burger we're gonna go after, let's, just, let's keep the char broil thing alive. It's right beside me anyway, Hardee's. Um, this cost $1.92 for the Hardee's burger. Uh, and again, these are just classic cheeseburgers. I didn't get any signature burger out there. Just cheap, classic cheeseburgers. And, ooh, man, 
This one got smashed. Like right off the bat, you can tell a little extra. Oh, and I got, they gave me two top buns as well. Two top buns, okay. Um, the meat, I think, actually, might be a little bit thicker though. Two top buns though, it's a little different. And again, they, they also have the sesame seed bun thing. I don't know if that's like Burger King competition or what. Burger King burger feels thicker, but I think the meat is thicker at Hardee's. It might be about the same. Uh, the burgers. Hardee's has a bigger burger. This is like thicker. This is like more wad. Okay, let's give Hardee's a try. I, I gotta give it to him already at Burger King though versus Hardee's. I did get two top buns, but at the same time, like you can see, the meat goes all the way around at Burger King. Like all the way around. At Hardee's, uh, it, I mean, this isn't a pretty burger at all. It's smushed on this side. This side's top bun. I guess we'll keep pretty side out. But you can immediately see, like, right off the bat, like, like there's, like, an, like, at least almost a full inch from meat to patty ratio. Let's go with this cheesy ketchup-y bot. And this is only ketchup, cheese, and mustard, I think. Yeah, no pickle. Oh, nope, there's pickles. Pickles on the bottom. Okay, um, so mustard, ketchup, cheese, same, same thing, only two top buns for some reason. I don't know. I didn't order it like that. I got it like that. Let's give it a roll. Wow. Big difference. Like, big, big difference. I did get two top buns. Um... Again, though, the meat to cheese ratio, not the same cheese. Maybe the same cheese at Burger King, I don't know. I do know that Hardee's, though, has a smaller patty. Thicker and bigger patty at Burger King. Um, it actually goes in uniform with their, um, their bun. Hardee's, this is going to sound crazy. I used to work at a Hardee's and I actually like Hardee's a lot as well but as far as their cheap cheeseburger goes it's a cheap cheap cheeseburger and it didn't even get put together right so like automatically i'm gonna have to like deduct some points on it like that's like a 4.8 burger i love hardy's i do love hardy's like my favorite burger might be the monster thick burger but that's not what i'm doing this is cheap burgers and again this was a dollar 92 it even costs more than the burger king burger and it's not as good quality so there's that it's kind of the char bowl boys out of the way um so far burger king in the lead second runner-ups hardy's let's go from there and see who gets added to the list or goes up or down next i don't know it's gonna change okay next burger up i'm actually gonna get a good mouth wash after these cleanse the palate let's keep the brown bags alive let's go mcdonald's Everybody knows McDonald's. The the arching M smells like you can't smell it. Anyway, it smells like your childhood. Okay, McDonald's. I mean, we all know McDonald's. I mean, they they even make their own buns. Uh, you know the works right off the bat. Um, pretty uniform. You know, I think it's actually bigger. Oh, I don't know. I was about to say that, but it's kind of doing the Hardee's thing where you got like a whole edge over here, and no meat. So kind of like Hardee's on that end. No meat on like, just like this whole corridor here. Um, smells like McDonald's though, classic McDonald's. What's on here, you got two giant pickles. They put onions on there. Two giant pickles, onions, mustard, ketchup, cheese, and meat. You go with this in, it's got a nice little cheese edge. Um, I mean, automatically, you know, no sesame seed. I, we already know this one isn't charbroiled. This got, like I was given this burger and like, I think I was there and like, a minute. Um, I think I still have the receipt really close by for this. It's the cheapest burger of them all. Like, hands down, the cheapest burger out of all of them I had. It was a dollar and seven cents for this burger. So, cheapest burger I had all day long that I'd bought. Let's give it a whirl. Hmm. Hmm. 
I love Hardee's, I do. This is better than Hardee's, I gotta say it. It doesn't have that tar boiled flavor, so there's that, there's that big difference between those, so I'm not putting it above Burger King. That's a pretty good burger though. I mean, I know it's McDonald's, uh, it's the cheapest burger of them all. Probably gonna be the cheapest quality of them all, maybe. But it's got the onions on there, which is really good. It adds a different flavor, an extra flavor. Smaller patty, not as much uh, cheese either. Actually, the cheese is about the same, I think. Um, they don't overdo it on bread, I'll give them that. So you get more of a meat taste. I think the patty's smaller. And, uh, but you got that onion. I don't know, the onion gives it a little bit of something extra. I'm gonna give it like, like a 5.9. You know, it's not it's not Burger King, but it was a pretty good burger. Next burger. Okay, we're gonna keep it on the brown bag still. Next up is the Dairy Queen burger. I don't I don't know Dairy Queen. Put something else in my bag. Dairy Queen may actually do the char boil thing as well. I don't really know. It's been a really long time, and this actually, believe it or not took the longest to get out of all the burgers so as far as time goes there's that there's a I, uh, I don't know it's questionable it, it's kind of a tie with like cookout as far as like how long it took but this burger cheap though it may be isn't the cheapest this thing cost me three dollars and 17 cents i can already tell though it's a thicker burger thicker than mcdonald's about the same thickness as uh, burger king shiny glossy bun I don't know if you can see the, the, the shine on that. This thing's glossy. What is on it? Uh, there's a pickle, meat, cheese, mustard, and ketchup. Um, pretty uniform. It goes almost all the way around. Like, no, no, you know, it doesn't, it, it's actually one thing, like, I can, like, take this off, take the bottom button off. This is something I've noticed with all of them so far. It's a perfectly round patty, but at Dairy Queen, this thing looks like it wasn't created by a machine. Like it's it's got imperfection and it goes all the way around the bun. That's actually a nice little cool thing to know. Dairy Queen, what are you doing out there? Cool. And uh, again, we'll go up the prettiest end here. And again, nice ratio on meat to cheese. Cheese on top isn't, it doesn't look like your average like cheese sauce either. Dairy Queen, man. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> they might do that charbroil thing. One thing also, I have a stack of napkins from all these places. Comes in handy at a time like this. Um, This is a good burger. This is a really, really good, cheap burger. I'm a Burger King man. And though it was $3.17, you know, all the other ones, they've been like a, a dollar, basically. Um, this is better than even Burger King. Like, this is a solid 7.1. Like, this is good for a cheap burger. And again, it's $3.17. I'm gonna keep one box a lot still on this. I don't wanna get out of touch with myself. But again, three dollars and seventeen cents. You kind of pay for that extra two bucks. I mean, it's kind of worth it too. I mean, the flavor's better. The meat doesn't look like it was made by a machine. Still has a smoky flavor. So I don't know if they're char broiled or what, but definitely is different. Definitely better than Burger King. I'm a Burger King guy. Like I thought I would come out of here thinking Burger King would be my favorite, not even trying to be biased. Dairy Queen's in the lead with a 7.1 though. Next burger. Oh no, we got one more brown bag. And actually, it was the one I actually had to pay the most for, which is also gonna be the one I actually have to, I don't wanna say deduct for, but I've gotta make altercations. I don't know why, but when you go to Sonic and ask for a plain burger, I don't think they know what a plain burger actually is because when she brought it to me, it has everything on it. Like everything. So I'm gonna have to take some stuff off 
I mean, this is the burger I had to pay the most for. Um, what was that? I think I got it right here. I paid the most for this burger. It was, uh, where is it? $4.55 for this burger at Sonic. So I, immediately, uh, I gotta take some stuff off. It's They put lettuce all over it. I gotta take that off best I can. This one actually has mayonnaise on it as well. Which is different. And a tomato. Um, so I gotta take all this off. Okay. It's harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna ask for this plane, but obviously I didn't get it plain. I will give this to Sonic. It's not my favorite um, burger place. I love the drinks from Sonic. That's kind of the only reason I go. If I go, it's for a drink. It's pretty basic right there. Everything's taken off of it. But I gotta give him this. Like, meat to bun ratio? On point. This is the biggest burger out of all of them I've had so far as well. So, biggest burger. Again, I had to make some altercations to it. It came with lettuce, tomato an onion but now we're down to the basics it's only uh mustard ketchup pickles meat and cheese let's go off a good end right there there's like a great bot cheese ketchup there's a pickle there but i'll eat it um let's do it okay sonic and again this is the most expensive so i'm expecting it to be the best probably won't be again i'm not a big sonic burger guy again i love their drinks Love their milkshakes. Burgers, uh, they've yet to impress me, but I've never actually had just a plain burger from there, you know? So this is kind of a first for me. Actually, I've had one, but it's been years. I was a kid. So again, this is like 455. I'm expecting the best. I had to make altercations to it. Um, but let's try to keep it up with the other ones. Maybe, maybe it'll be as good as Dairy Queen. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good burger. I mean, it's a really good burger. I'll give you that. It just tastes like a big McDonald's burger, though. I mean, I paid, like, a, McDonald's was my cheapest burger. I paid a dollar and seven cents for it. Like, this, it's a little bit better than McDonald's. I'll give it that. But I'm not gonna give it... It's not better than Burger King. I hate that Hardee's give me such a gimp burger, but it's better than Hardee's. Um, I don't know. I, I would give this thing just like a five nine, maybe. It's not bad. It's not like the greatest thing in the world though either. It's not a seven one, I'll tell you that. Okay, that was all the brown bags. And again, that was the most expensive burger too. So, let's go to the next one. Next burger. Um, we're in the white bags. Things have changed. I'm gonna actually rank this and do these the way I think I'll actually like them the most. Like, uh, from least to best. Actually, let's do this. I've never had Jack's before. First time ever eating Jack's. Also, a pretty cheap burger. Dude, I got the watcher actually make it. It didn't take long at all either. Um, but it wasn't expensive either. Um, this thing cost $1.79. This is Jack's. Again, this is the only burger out of all these, which is my number one first time ever eating. So this is, this is going to be interesting. Never had Jack's before. I didn't even know they had burgers, to be honest with you. I thought it was like a chicken place. Oh, right off the bat. $1.79, and you get like a whole different style of bun. Look at this thing. Split down the middle? Okay. It smells different. It smells like, honestly, it smells like the best bread out of all these I've had so far. Okay, let's see what's on there. Um, we got, they go, they go onions too. So McDonald's, Sonic, and Jack's go onions on theirs. Uh, mustard, ketchup, pickle, meat and cheese. Pretty decent ratio as well, as far as like meat to like, I mean, there's a little fold over here. Not bad though. Pretty decent meat to cheese ratio. They do actually have that really weird 
like um, Sonic did as well, that really weird, like, I don't know, so far Dairy Queen's been the most astonishing because it just doesn't look like it was made by a machine. This, I do like the, the different style of bun though, it's really different. Let's give it a try. Again, $1.79. Mmm. It's a pretty bun. But it doesn't really have flavor. Um, but I'm not just judging the bun. It's the, you know, there's a nice little meat ratio. I didn't taste the cheese at all. It's very onion forward. Um, I hate to say it, I think I might have liked Sonic better. Which, I mean, I did pay more for the Sonic burger. Um, Jack's burger, I'm gonna give it like a 4.9, you know? I'd maybe eat it if, you know, I was in a pinch. Again, it's at, you know, uh, what did I say? $1.49? $1.79. It's $1.79, so in a pinch, you know, it's not bad. Or if you're out with your family at a place like that, like I noticed on their menu, they got like chicken and then, you know, all kinds of stuff, actually. So, you know, maybe you're the burger guy of the family and you just want a burger while everybody else, yeah, I'd pay $1.79 for it again. Um, but I'm not gonna, you know, recommend it. Out of all of these, so far, Dairy Queen and Burger King taking the lead. But, three more. Let's give them a whirly girly and we'll keep going from here. So this is like the first time in my life I can ever say that I've actually just taken one bite of a burger and just sat it down and it feels weird. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next one. We got three left and now we'll do it in the order I think I'll like them most. So next is Checkers. Um, this is another cheap burger actually was instantly given to me, like I ordered at the window, which is kind of funny going through there at the time because they uh, they actually were just baffled by seeing all the bags up front uh, ahead of my car. I think this is it. Um, hmm. I just now realized that I overpaid for this burger. That's insane. They charged me for fraws, and I didn't even get fraws. To be fair, it is a random order, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It, it feels thicker. I don't think this is gonna be my favorite. I don't know. Still a little upset. I, I feel baffled. They charged me for fraws. Um, but this thing was only a dollar. That was it. Um, gotta make altercations. Did as well, apparently. I mean, that, I mean, that's pretty sound, though. I mean, I, I know it's going to... Wow, there's a lot of lettuce on this thing. Um, for a dollar, you get a fully loaded burger. I mean, for whatever it's worth, even though it was instantly made. Like, I mean, instant. Like, I, I ordered it, drove around to the window, and it was already being handed to me. So this thing could have been pre-made. I don't know. Um, God. Lots of... Lots of lettuce. Um, maybe I can just save myself some time. Okay. Still can't believe I got charged for fraz. I didn't even get any fraz today. That's disappointing. I actually like their fraz too. Um, okay, meat to cheese ratio. The cheese overlaps the meat, but the meat, let me put top bug back on that. It's a little lettuce there. A lot of altercations made with this one. It's not, not quite as easy. As Sonic was. Okay. Get a little wop on my hands here. Getting very uh, saucy. Okay. Put the top on. Oh, missed one. But yeah, we'll go on this again. Meat to cheese ratio. Ooh. Cheese overlaps the meat. Not a lot to the meat. Almost. It looks kind of like the Dairy Queen burger, but you can tell, like this thing's like gray brown. Very thin. Thinnest burger I think so far, even possibly thinner than McDonald's. Um, good solid bot. Checkers, again, a dollar for a burger. I mean, in, in, in the end, it is a dollar you get fully loaded burger.
I don't know. They go sesame seed bun too. Um, this might have been the worst burger yet so far. I'm gonna lick my fingers and you, you may think differently, but this thing's like a 3.8 at best. Not the greatest burger. Very, like, you don't taste the meat. I'm guessing is why they go ahead and put vegetables on there. Um, all I taste is like bread and cheese, really. Like bread and cheese and like a hint of onion. They also put onion on there. So like 3.8, it is a dollar, it's very cheap. And I'm not just deducting points because they charged me for fries that I didn't get. Checkers. Um, it's definitely my least favorite out of all of them. Um, but okay, next burger. Next burger. Okay, um, let's go for Wendy's. This is another one of my favorite places to go get a burger. I love Wendy's. Uh, pretty cheap as well. What was it? Was this Wendy's? Yeah, Wendy's, a dollar thirty-eight. Now, honestly, I'm baffled at the day. Like sometimes I feel like these places just charge like an extra, like five cents because they can. I don't know. But I mean, this is one of the things I've always liked about Wendy's right off the bat as well. The square um, patty. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. The reason I like it is because it actually hits like every bite. You're never gonna hit with like. Just not a, a bite of the meat, not just a solid bite of bread. Um, pretty sound. They have onions on theirs too. Onion, pickle, mustard, ketchup, meat and cheese. Um, they kind of off-centered it. Okay, let's go for it. Let's try to get a good bite. And uh, you know, I like Hardee's again. No, not Hardee's, but Wendy's. It's Wendy's. Um, but yeah, I like Wendy's. Uh, again, you know, square patties. Um, here we go. Let's get the best looking bot we can. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. You can taste the meat. You can taste the cheese. You can taste the onion. Actually, this is a really solid burger. Like, really solid. Like, it's not a seven one. But it's like a, it's like a 6.5. Like this is a solid burger. It's a good burger. So far out of all these, I'm recommending Dairy Queen. But I mean, for the price, Wendy's is really good. Again, this is like a dollar thirty non. I think I said dollar thirty eight actually. Dollar and thirty eight cents. In the dollar cheap cheap regions, this is definitely the best. Um, but not the best burger out of all these that I've had. So far, still Dairy Queen randomly. Wendy's is a good burger though. Really good burger. Recommend it. Great price. Um, but yeah, like a, a 6.5. It's a good burger. It really is. Um, one more to go. Here we go. Last burger. And it's cookout. Um, this is technically a fast food chain. They're not everywhere, um, but it's technically a fast food chain. That's that's basically what I was keeping. Keep in mind, this was not any of the uh, kind of like stereotypical home diner style burgers. This was me hitting up just fast food chains, trying to find the cheapest fast food burger out of all of them, which was the, not just the cheapest, but the best for the money that you bought. This one's already different. It comes in aluminum foil. Um, it smells very good. Thickest meat we've had yet. Wow. Like, okay. It's no condiments on it. No ketchup, no mustard, no pickles, straight meat and cheese. But I gotta say it like, I, okay. I, I was going to show you meat to cheese ratio on this. There's a little flab here. I can feel where there's like no meat. Um, but I mean, okay, I think I got it here, yeah. So, you can tell right off the bat, there's a little flap. Not too bad, but this smells great. Um, again, there's no th nothing on it. It's just meat and cheese. There's no mustard, no ketchup, no pickles, no onions. This looks really good, though. It smells really good, though. And again, this is the thickest meat we've had so far. 
and like the the bread doesn't feel manufactured I know it is but it, it just doesn't feel the same you know it feels soft it's kind of spongy okay the last burger and the cookout burger is three dollars and fifty five cents you know not a dollar burger I mean you can see too very cheesy like it's so cheesy you can't actually take the top bun off um, and the meat is very thick let's go ahead and give it a whirl Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. That's like a solid 6.9. It might have been better than Dairy Queen. But I can't really do it. I mean, Dairy Queen had, you know, some stuff on it. Dairy Queen's also very uniform. But I like this burger a lot. I have to fight myself on that score too. Like this is a good, good burger. I like cookout a lot better. I'll be I, honest. I'll be honest. With you. I think it's a better burger than Burger King. So in order, top three. Um, right off the bat, I gotta say, top burger. Where was it? Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen had the top burger good ratio 7.1 I recommend going to Dairy Queen you know if you want a good burger um it wasn't a dollar though where was it oh it's down in here somewhere it's one of the first ones we did Dairy Queen three dollars and seventeen cents so really really good burger I recommend it three dollars and seventeen cents next one after that hands down cookout like cookout this was a good good burger you gotta pay a little extra for it uh compared to like hardy's um where was that receipt i paid you think i remember but i don't three dollars and 55 cents so you know it's right there almost with dairy queen dairy queen's cheaper though and dairy queen is better dairy queen has a better meat to cheese the bun everything ratio and then, you know, after that, it's, it's Wendy's, who has, like, out of all of these, is definitely the cheapest, um, out of the three. Wendy's cost $1.38. So that's it, you know, um, Dairy Queen, then definitely Cookout next. Cookout, great burger. Like, they're not a dollar, no. The three dollar boys, you know, uh, what was this again? Three seventeen, what? Three fifty five. Good burgers. Favorite is Dairy Queen. Second favorite, Cookout. Third, Wendy's. I mean, you taste the meat on Wendy's out of the cheapest burgers. My least favorite. I mean, I hate to say it. My least favorite was probably Checkers. Um, Checkers. There's there wasn't a lot to it. I, you taste everything but the meat. Um, it's kind of like that at Jack's as well. Jack's isn't that bad though. If I had to rank these in order though, well, you can watch the video again. I'll tell you the price all the way through it. You just heard it. Um, but definitely out of the top chain fast food restaurants, Dairy Queen, then Cookout. And if you don't got Cookout or Dairy Queen, you more than likely have a Wendy's. And if you're looking for the best bargain out of all of these, best bargain, best burger, it is Wendy's. Um, I mean, you know, best for the bargain. Again, I like Dairy Queen the most, but that's my opinion. You know, what's your opinion? Hit up that comment section if you want. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more of these. Got a, a lot of plans for the future with these. This is one I actually had a lot of fun doing. Um, I got a lot of weird looks going through drive throughs having like all of these like fast food chain burgers just sitting in like my passenger seat it's kind of funny um i actually have a video i'm trying to upload now a total vlog video of me going around getting all these burgers uh, kind of mess around doing an outside of my life video but again like subscribe share if you want you know that's always cool too 
And uh, you know, hit up the comments. Tell me what your favorite fast food burger is and how you feel about it. I got the meat sweats going on right now. So I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna go eat something more healthy and drink some water. Thanks for watching. See everybody.